Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my House of Flame and Shadow reading vlog. I literally cannot believe that this book is in my hands. I'm just, oh my gosh. I think I'm literally going to die. Like, I feel like I'm going to explode. I, I just, it's stunning. It's gorgeous. It's chunky. I, oh my God. Like, are you freaking kidding me right now? This is like the happiest, literally the happiest moment of my entire existence. So yeah, so I'm going to be vlogging this entire experience. This vlog is going to be full of spoilers. So if you have not read this book, please don't watch this. Click out of the video now. You have been warned, but I literally can't wait. I, I vlogged my experience trying to find this book, which was an absolute shit show. So Hopefully you enjoy that portion of the vlog. I, oh my god, I'm about to sit down. It is January 30th, the day of the release. It is 10.49 a.m. and I just got home from class and about to sit down, set up my annotation key in here. I already picked out my colors. I've had like the actual key picked out for like two weeks, okay? And I'm just excited to like put it in the book and start reading this bad boy. Like, I just, I cannot, I can't believe it. I've been waiting for two years and this just like feels surreal. And what feels even more surreal is the fact that Cami was in the New York City Barnes and Noble where Sarah J Maas came and surprised the fans. Like, okay, the, the besties, like the girlies, we knew that she was going to that location. Like we knew that Cami was going to like see her. And so Cami literally FaceTimed the entire gang. I'll put up like screenshots here. And we were able to like see her over FaceTime and it was insane. It was literally like the most incredible moment of my entire life. Cami is such a real one for doing that for us. And literally all of us were like crying because Sarah got emotional during her like little speech and talking about how like we're the reason that she was able to like fight for herself and stand up for herself. And I just, we were literally all like crying. Like I think I have screenshots of all of us just bawling our eyes out during that speech. And it was just such an incredible way to kick off this release. And now I get to sit down and actually like actually read this. I just, it is unbelievable. Like, <laughs> okay, so I'm going to get comfortable, sit down. We're going to light a candle and we're going to set up the annotation guide and start reading and I literally oh my god okay 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 I gotta go so I can read this friggin book I'm gonna finish my coffee and then we're gonna head to Target and Walmart I'm really really hoping Walmart has the book because Lachlan actually went earlier this morning she went to like three different Walmarts and they should have lied to her that it wasn't delivered for some reason and then she finally had luck at the third Walmart that she went to and she got the book so I'm really hoping that it doesn't happen to me because if they're lying and they refuse to check in the back, I am out of options. Like, I literally don't have another Walmart near me. I think the next one is probably, like, an hour away. And I just, like, I don't have time to go there. And so I'm just, I'm really, 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 really hoping that my Walmart has it. Because I really want the Walmart bonus chapters. Like, I just, I need that in my life. And so, yeah. If not, I think, um... Kara said that she's going to head to Walmart later, so hopefully hers has it, and if it does, I'm going to be like, please give me a copy because I would literally die if I didn't have that. So yeah, and then I also, of course, want the Target one um, for that bonus chapter, and yeah, and then the one that I ordered off Amazon is just like the normal one, so that's kind of what's going on. It is 7.27. I have class at 8.30, so I'm really hoping I can go to um, Walmart and Target and make it to class on time. And if I can't, if I'm late, I literally don't care. Like I don't care, but also um, it's just the class that I TA for. So if I'm late, it honestly doesn't really even matter. But I'm just, I'm like literally, I'm shaking. I'm still not over the fact that what happened last night happened. Like I just, I it's still so unreal. Yeah, okay, let's, let's finish my coffee and let's go get this freaking book. Okay, I just filmed the intro of this vlog, but um, I have the book in my hands. Uh, Freaking Walmart didn't have it. I asked them to check in the back and all they had was Akatar. So I'm just very confused. And I think I'm gonna go back to Walmart later this afternoon to look again and hopefully 
their book guy has shown up. But yeah, they also didn't have them out at Target. And me and literally like three other girls that were all there looking for it right when it opened at 8 a.m. were like, can you please check in the back? So these two sweet workers checked in the back and found four copies for us. And so I was able to get my hands on this, which I'm so, so happy about. I can't wait for the bonus chapter for this, but I really wanted the bonus chapter from Walmart. So I'm hoping, hoping, hoping they have it later this afternoon because I don't know, I will literally be so unwell if they don't. So yeah, but I'm gonna sit down and start reading. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be, this is gonna be so good. I've literally only been reading for like an hour. I'm 50 pages in and I'm already like kicking, screaming, crying, like all of the emotions. I'm just, I feel like I just haven't fully processed that this is in my hands. Like I am reading this book. Like it just, it, it's not like the math is not mathing up here. And I just, I don't, I don't know. I'm still processing my emotions, but I am loving these interactions between Bryce and Amarin and Azriel and Resand. Like I, the, their whole like chapter, I was like, what is happening? What's going to happen? Like, I need to know, especially because like Bryce is obviously so scared. She's like, these are really, really powerful Fae. Like they are literally going to kill me if I even take like one wrong step. And I'm like at the edge of my seat because I'm like, holy shit, is Reese going to like literally murder Bryce like or like just like imprison her forever and Bryce can never get back and I'm just like oh my gosh and we're learning so much more about like the history of the Fae and like the Starborn I'm just like we're getting all of these details already and I am I'm here here for it and then we have Finn and Ethan and Darian and their chapter and they're gonna try to break um Rune and Hunt out of like the prison and I'm just like how are they going to do that? I don't know. Like they're going to need the help of the murder people and they're going to have to like break out of their own little thing. And I'm just like, I'm talking a million miles a minute because I am living for this book. Like, and it, keep in mind, I'm literally 50 pages in and I'm like obsessed. Like her writing grips me. Like literally Sarah Janet has a chokehold on my life and I, 
this book is everything already and I just I can't wait but unfortunately I have to go to class right now well not like right now right now but I need to eat lunch it's currently at 12 30. I have class at 1 10 and guys I'm a good student okay like I I love school I love law school like it is literally my entire personality and I don't, I don't know. I'm just, I'm a good student, right? I, I don't want to go to class. Like I'm genuinely considering skipping class today, which is just like unreal. Like I, I think I have missed in like the year and a half that I've been in law school. I think I have missed one class. That's it. Yeah. Like I, I don't skip class. Okay. Like I don't care if the class is at 8 30 AM or 6 PM. I'm going to class. I don't want to go to class. <laughs> like I, I'm so unwell. I'm so unwell. Like I, I like, I don't know what to do because this brick, this brick is taking over my life. Okay. That's, that's all. That's my update. Um, it's just that I'm contemplating my life. Okay, I ended up going to class because I just felt really guilty, but it's three o'clock. I'm back and I'm ready to read for the rest of the evening. Also, Kara, being literally the wonderful angel human being that she is, found a copy of Hofas at her Walmart. And so she bought one for me and she's gonna ship it out in a couple of days and I'm going to have the Walmart edition and I'm so happy because I, like, I only have the one Walmart near me because I live in the middle of nowhere basically. And so that was my only option this morning and they didn't have it. So, which is just like insane to me, but whatever, that's besides the point. The point is I will have the Walmart edition. I own it. It's, oh, and it's gonna be on its way to me sometime this week, which is insane. But I'm going to get back to reading this bad boy and oh my god I was literally thinking about it all class the way I rushed out of class like I didn't talk to anyone I was like everyone get out of my way I'm going home so I can read my book I'm now 150 pages in to this book. It's currently 6 p.m. and I actually have a meeting at 6.30, which is just so annoying. Literally school is coming in the way of everything today and I'm this close, this close to just dropping out so I can read this book. But like in all seriousness, I'm 150 pages in and I am obsessed with Bryce and Nesta's dynamic. Like I, I just, I had a feeling that they were just destined to just, to be besties like I really think that they are going to form such an incredible friendship and I'm already seeing like the little ink like little droplings of it and I just it's so it's so perfect like their relationship dynamic is everything and then having Azrael there while they're in this tunnel is so fun like I love Azrael okay like as I can't wait to have his own book in the actor world because I love him so much like he's just so like he's a man a few words you know but when he when he talks like ooh, it hits and we're getting to see him in an isolated setting with the two girls and it's just it's so nice and I'm so happy that I have the bonus chapter in the Walmart edition because it's those three and I'm like I'm living for this dynamic right now like I yeah and then in on the in the other world in Midgard we are you know, trying to figure out how to get Rune and Hunt out of prison. We're still working on that. I, like, I knew that they were going to have to partner up with Lydia, but it's still, like, it's, like, fun to see how everyone's, like, super hesitant, but they're, like, that's, like, literally our only choice. Like, we don't know what else to do. Um, and see, seeing her play, like, sneaky, sneaky agent role is so fun. And I just, like, I can't wait. I can't wait to see, like, how they're going to break them out. And it's just, oh, my gosh. And Hunt just found out that Bryce did make it to hell. And they're, like, where is she? And no one knows. And I'm just, like, I know. Like, 
ask me. I know I can tell you. And it's just, it's so, it's so wild. I'm like, I'm, ugh, I'm having so much fun. Um, and I'm literally, I'm so upset that I have to go to this stupid meeting and I don't know when it's going to end. Cause it's kind of like whenever you get like your assignment done is when you can go home. And so sometimes I'm there for an hour. Sometimes I'm there for like three hours. So I really, I really don't know. I'm really, really fingers crossed. It goes by super fast. So I can come home and keep reading. I would love to finish this book by the end of this week. Like that would be insane if I can finish in like four or five days, like what the heck, especially given my schedule. But I, on the one hand, I want to like experience every single word on every single page, which I definitely am doing. But I want to like take my time with it. I mean, we've been waiting for this for two years. I have no idea when the next Akatar book is coming out. I know she's writing it right now, but I haven't heard anything about like a release date or a title or like literally anything. And I have no idea when her like new series that they contracted her for is like, like nothing's been like fully flushed out for that yet. So I just, this is like the last book that I'm going to have of SJM as like a first read in a very, very long time. And so I want to like take my time with it and really sit with these characters, sit with this world, sit with the story and her writing. But at the same time, I'm loving it so much. Like I just want to know what happens. Like my eyes are glued to the pages and I just like want to finish it in like one sitting. Like I just keep reading and I just, oh my gosh, this hasn't happened in so long. And it only happens with Sarah Janet's books because the <laughs> They're just so good. I'm just, I'm like so emotionally drained already and it's only been 150 pages and I think it's just the pure adrenaline of like having this book in my hands and in my possession and being able to read it is just, it's such an unreal feeling. So yeah, that's my update. I'm sorry this vlog is like gonna be so chaotic. Like I am just like unwell in every clip. I feel like I just, I look crazy. I'm just... Words, sentences are not forming. I don't know. My camera is shaky because like I'm shaking all the time. That might be the iron deficiency, but it probably is because of the book because I am obsessed. So yeah, that's all. I'm going to go to my freaking meeting and then hopefully, hopefully I can come home. I would like to get to at least page 200 by tonight. I think I can do it. We're going to stay up as late as like, we possibly can. I have class at 8.30 though, and I have class all the way up until 3 p.m. tomorrow. So... Um, the next time I'll be able to read is like when I wake up at 6 a.m. tomorrow to read for an hour like I usually do and then when I get home at 3 p.m. But I also want to go to the gym tomorrow and get a workout in because I didn't go today, obviously. So that's that's it. Now this is just like a five minute long clip about I feel like nothing. So I'm going to go and I will talk to you guys later. Guys, that was the fastest a meeting has ever gone for me. Um, I'm literally home. It's currently, let's see what time is it? It's 7.28. And I'm home. Like, what? That took less than an hour. So I am thrilled. I brought over all my annotating gear to sit on the couch. I'm going to throw on a Netflix fireplace little ambiance going. And I'm going to read for the rest of the evening. I'm so happy that went by so quickly. I was so scared because that assignment was very, very long. And I really thought I was going to be there for like two hours. But we got it done. So, um, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep reading. <sighs>to page 220 now so about a quarter of the way through which is really really good progress in just one day but I'm very very annoyed it's Wednesday currently so it's the next day it's currently three o'clock and I just got home I had class from 8 30 until 3 p.m literally non-stop like I've had stuff to do I had class from 8 30 to 10 10 10 30 to 11 45 I had a meeting from 12 to 1 20 and then I had class from 1 30 to 2 55 and I just got home so I have just had like literally the busiest craziest most hectic day I'm about to change and go to the gym because I didn't go to the gym yesterday and I just I need to get a workout in and I'm gonna make it like a 45 minute workout. I do really love going to the gym. It's like one of my other hobbies other than like reading. So I'm like looking forward to my gym session, but at the same time, all I wanna do is read this freaking book. 
but I just got assigned like so much homework to do for tomorrow and I just don't know when I'm going to do it all and my head is about to explode because I don't want to do it. I just want to read and I'm just, ah, uh, I'm frustrated. But <laughs> anyways, that's besides the point. I did have a few things that I wanted to update you guys about before I changed and like went to the gym because I'm loving the little like character moments we're getting, like the small little acts of just humanity and not even humanity just like making a character human I guess that is humanity but like I mean we had Bryce teaching um Nesta how to use a phone like how a phone works what the camera is like how it works uh, how you can call people and I just like taking like those few pages just to like have that conversation just made them feel so real it just makes the characters like real and I don't know yeah I'm just I'm really really liking that um, of course, the freaking worm is back because the worm. Um, but what Bryce did was absolutely crazy. I mean, yes, she like double backed and came back to help them. But like when we, when I realized that why she wasn't healing, I was like, girl, I don't know. I was just shook. Um, and we're also learning like all about the origins of everything. And we're learning about like Bryce's ancestor and how Thea, Queen Thea, is that how you pronounce it? Is like basically one of the like starting points of how they got to Midgard. And it was just, it was insane. I was like, what is happening? But I'm here for it. I'm loving like the whole cave interactions. Almost like, like it's playing like in my mind, like I can see them in the cave, just like watching this display occur and watching her like speak to them or listening to her speak to them. And I just, it's really, really cool. I don't know. I just, I really like the connection and how Sarah J Mass is like weaving in the Akatar world with the Crescent City world. Like it's making sense. And it wasn't just put in there. Like the ending of Hosab wasn't just put in there for the sake of having like, oh my god, it's all connected, you know? And like, obviously it makes it super cool, but now it feels like there's like a solid grounding and a reason for it, and it's like, it, it like is making sense. It's not just there for the sake of like grabbing you, you know, and then leaves you hanging. I'm like, oh, okay, I get it. Like, there's all this fighting going on, and like, they were like hopping from here to here, and this is why she didn't land in hell, and it just, it's, I'm getting it. So I'm, I'm really, really liking it. My tabs are turning out really, really fun. And I'm just, I'm having a blast, guys. I'm literally having a blast. Um, but I'm going to um, go to the gym now. I'm literally, I'm so annoyed about my schoolwork. Like, it's getting in the way of everything. But I have to do it. I'm hoping that I can get through everything. Like, gym, shower, homework, by 7 p.m. And then I can just read for like four hours before I go to sleep. And I'll just stay up a little bit later than usual. I usually sleep at like 10, 10.30. But I'm willing to push it to like 11, 11.30. Because I need to, I need to read. So yeah, that was my little update. I'm going to go to the gym now and I will talk to you guys later. Okay, I'm on page 300 now and I am a little annoyed about something. So first of all, the whole interaction with like the Asteri, I think that's how you pronounce it, the Asteri like under the, the cave when Bryce like falls in or whatever, that was, oh, my bookmark is falling apart. Anyways, um, that was really, really interesting. I really, really enjoyed that and I liked the whole like how they killed Ves Vesperus, I forget her name, but um, I, I really, really like that. But then, like, all of a sudden, you know, we get, we get Bryce back into Midgard. And while I understand, like, why it happened, and honestly, I don't really understand how it happened. Like, I'm a little confused. I might have to go back and, like, reread that page. But um, I was really hoping that we would have her in the Akatar world, like, longer and her coming back to Midgard would have been more difficult. Like, it seems like, I don't want to say it was almost too easy to, like, get back. And she's not even really back, you know. She's with the Autumn King. But, like, I just, I wanted more. And I wanted more with Nesta and Az. Like, I, 
I felt like we we had a really good momentum going after they learned the whole story of the cave or the whole story in the cave not of the cave um and I just feel like all of a sudden now she's back and I was like okay well I wanted it to be more difficult for her to get back but really it wasn't it feels like so I don't know maybe that's just like me and I was wanting something else out of this part of the book but I was a little upset about that so that kind of sucks that that brought my enjoyment down just like just a smidge I was like oh okay um but nonetheless I'm still really really enjoying it I actually made I Kara did this when she was reading um like Crescent City 1 and 2 and then also Silver Flames is um she like marked her page goal for the day um and so I decided to do that because I would really, really like to finish this book by Saturday. It's currently Wednesday and I calculated and I have to read about like 168 pages every single day. So I marked that in the book. Um, I'm currently, like I said, on page 300 and I need to read up until page 335 around there to be on track to finish this by Saturday. I definitely think I'm going to read more than that tonight. Um, I might get another like 50 to 60 pages into this book, but I do have like work I needed to do because you know how I said I had homework assigned um, and I was going to do that and then start reading? Yeah, I didn't do that. I just immediately went into this book because I hadn't been able to read all day, okay? And I really, really wanted to. So I think I'm going to take literally like a five minute break to eat a snack. I had dinner. But I want a snack because I'm hungry again. And then I'm going to get back to reading. And I'm just going to try to make it to this um, page count for the day. And then I'll do my schoolwork. And then we'll get back to reading. And I honestly, it's currently 7.57. So I think truly I might make myself, I was going to say coffee. I'm not going to make myself coffee. But I am going to make myself caffeinated tea. And maybe try to stay up late and then also wake up early in the morning. I don't know. We're going to be sacrificing sleep so I can read this book. Because there's no way I can do everything I need to do related to school. And also have the opportunity to read this book. And if I have to sacrifice my sleep schedule for a week to read this, I will do it. I literally don't care. Um, so that's the plan. But I'm just... The annotations are making me so happy. I'm definitely slowing down a little bit on the annotation game. Like I was really, really going bam in the beginning. But that's because there was like so much like world building happening in the beginning with like every, with like the two worlds merging. And now we like slowed down a little bit. Um, I mean, everything that was told in the cave by Celine was like world building and just like history and stuff that I would be annotating but that would mean I would annotate like a hundred pages or something and I wasn't gonna do that so um that's that's a little side tangent about my annotations but I'm gonna make my tea now and read some more and then I'll talk to you guys once I have a little bit more of an update oh also a side thing that just popped into my head that I didn't mention the fact that Rune just like can you please rip my arm off? That was wild. That was freaking crazy. I was like, I'm sorry. What did you just say, Rune Dannon? Like, rip my arm. That was, that was funny. I'm not gonna, I mean, I know it's not supposed to be like a funny scene, but that, I was laughing. I was like, oh, okay. He's like, hunt, can you just like, it wild, but okay. Anyways, I'm gonna go and I will talk to you guys later. Okay, I am extremely tired, so this is going to be a pretty quick update because it's 11.30 p.m. and I am now halfway through this book, which 
seems just like wild to me that I started this book yesterday and I'm already halfway through because I'm like flying through it. I'm on page 418 and I think that's like exactly halfway through but I'm definitely on track to finish this honestly by Friday which would be insane. Like yeah I'm just I'm really really loving it. Also my bookmark like completely fell apart. I don't know what to do with that but that happened so that's a side note but um yeah I honestly I was gonna read up until like my little tabby thing and then do my work and go to sleep at a reasonable hour and like whatever but I literally couldn't stop reading like I wanted to just keep going so I did and I made it halfway through and I'm very very happy about it and like the tabs are tabbing and I'm just like I'm having such a good time but I mostly wanted to turn on the camera to let you guys know about that reading update and also let you know that I'm not vibing with this whole like Lydia and children plot line like I don't know I was reading her interactions with her kids and like obviously they're like oh we hate you like you left us whatever you're not our mom um I don't really like this like I I could have gone without that plot line it kind of like pulled me away from the story I don't know it was kind of weird don't really know where Sarah Gina is going with this. I don't know if this was just something to throw in there to cause more rift between Rune and Lydia. I'm not sure, but I'm not liking it. But everything else that's happened so far, I'm loving. I mean, Bryce is back, so we got the little reunion moment, which honestly I thought was really really well done like I I mean in my head I envisioned it to be like this grand epic like they look at each other from across the room and they're like oh my god we're back like besties what let's go but I think that the way Sarah wrote that scene of them feeling so many emotions seeing each other but knowing that like there's so much else going on that they have to focus on and they have to kind of contain their emotions I don't know I thought that was done masterfully and like so accurate to I think how the characters like would and should react in that situation and I just I really really liked that so I'm kind of glad that we didn't get like this grand epic reunion scene and like when they finally were alone together and Bryce was like oh I just want to like can we just hold each other I was like oh my god this is so sweet so I I'm just I'm obsessed with them and I forgot how much I love Bryce sorry my tv I don't know what is going on um I forgot how much I loved Bryce and her like sassiness and her like little remarks and quirks and I just I love her and yeah I'm having a really good time I mean it's not perfect um I've obviously like have some issues with it but overall I'm having so much fun and just like I'm loving this I honestly I want more of Nesta and Az and I'm hoping that I can get that obviously in like the Walmart edition but I want more in that book so I'm hoping that they like go back or something or like somehow Nesta and Az get here get to Bryce and Hunt I don't, I don't really know but I want another reunion like I want more of them as well in the story and I know this is not an Akatar, this is a Crescent City book, but like I would still like those characters in this, especially because now we've like integrated the two worlds and I just, yeah. So um, that's that. I'm going to go to sleep now because I'm really tired and I have to wake up at like six o'clock tomorrow morning to do the work that I was supposed to do today that I didn't. So yeah. It's now Thursday and it's currently 7 30 p.m. and I just got home. I had two classes today and then I had like a two and a half hour practice for this like competition team that I'm on at my school because we're going because we're going to regionals next week. We're going to North Carolina which is going to be so much fun and I'm very excited but we had practice for that so that took up a huge chunk of my day and doesn't leave me with a lot of time to read this evening so I'm about to sit down and eat some dinner, watch an episode of New Girl, and then shower, kind of get comfortable, and then we're gonna get back to reading Crescent City. I am over halfway through. I'm 480 pages into this book, so we are making some really, really good progress, and I'm hoping to pass, to surpass the 600 page mark tonight before I go to sleep, and then tomorrow is Friday, which means I have no classes, which means I'm going to be reading all day, and we're gonna finish this book tomorrow, and I just, 
I can't wait. It's going to be so exciting. And yeah, I don't have a lot more like thoughts for you guys. I mean, we're in like the archives and stuff and trying to figure out what to do, but not a lot else has happened since we last chatted because I think I've only read like 60 pages since the last update. So yeah, I'm going to go and I will talk to you guys later. I have less than 250 pages left of this book and it's getting wild. I mean, first of all, Bryce is queen. We love that. We love to see it. But now the Asteria are attacking and shit's going down. I'm just, I'm shook. But at least we have all of our characters together. You know, Ethan, Hypaxia, Hypaxia, yeah. Um, and like Bryce and them are all reunited. Uh, and... So I'm really liking that and I just I have no idea like where this is going. I'm like really scared I mean, they're gonna like raise an army of hell and do all this crazy nonsense and I'm just like It's it's getting wild. So I'm I'm having a really good time but honestly, I am struggling to keep my eyes open at this point and I wanted to read a little bit more tonight like maybe another 50 pages, but I'm so tired It's like 10 45. So it's not even like that late, you know it's past my bedtime still. I sleep at like 10 p.m. But um, I'm so tired. I literally am like dying. And I think it's because I slept at midnight last night and woke up at 6 a.m. Because I had like homework to do that I didn't do yesterday because I was reading. So I'm running on six hours of sleep. And I'm very tired from my long day at school. So I think I'm going to just call it a night. And then I'm going to finish this book tomorrow morning. And I can't. I can't wait. All right, I'm coming at you looking very, very rough, but I only have 100 pages left of Hofas, and I am so scared. Like, this is, we're ramping up to, like, the battle with the Asteri, and I'm just, like, I'm so scared. I'm literally so scared, but so much has gone down. I mean, Hunt, Prince of Hell. Love that, okay? Like, wild. Um, Autumn King, dead, decapitated get out of here, goodbye, which was crazy, Rune and Lydia finally made up, which like, oh, and we got a little spicy scene with them, and I was like, yes, and we also got a spicy scene with Bryce and Hunt, and I was like, yes, because I've been waiting for that all book, and we finally got it, and it was wonderful, and oh my gosh, what else has been going on, um, Ethan, Prime, love that for him, um, but the whole scene with his brother was so sad, like, being able to talk to him again, and then him being gone again was just like it was so heartbreaking and like oh I'm like trying to think what else has like gone down I just I don't know oh oh my gosh okay Bryce protecting her parents reminded me of like Hermione and like what she did with her parents because that was just so brave and like so sad like I don't know I mean I am glad we got to see Nesta again but that was just really really heartbreaking and I have no idea what's gonna happen like if they're gonna be able to reunite if like like what is gonna go down so that had me shook but it was so it was so sad and yeah so that's that's kind of where I'm at they're about to like I literally stopped like right when like it's about to happen like they are about to go do things and yeah sorry this is like shaking I'm literally like I'm shaking and I'm so nervous I'm like scared to finish the last 100 pages and I can't believe it's almost over like what it's currently 12 30 on Friday so <sighs> it's only been four days and I'm almost done with this book which is crazy especially because I've been annotating the crap out of this like look at this oh my gosh I also I ran out of um certain colors so I had to like change up my annotation system which is gonna bother me but also I don't really care um I'm just I'm having such a good time so yeah okay i'm so sorry i had to watch this clip with like the camera literally shaking everywhere but that's where i'm at right now so i'm gonna go i'm gonna finish this book and then we'll talk when it's over okay it's a lot later now and i finished house of flame and shadow I finished it a few hours ago and I was just so like unwell. I had to, I went to the gym, I ran some errands. I just needed to like take some time away from this book to really process what had just happened. 
I really, really loved the ending. Like, I loved how they resolved the Asteri, like, the black hole. The whole, like, sci-fi element, honestly, in this was so interesting. Like, port I mean, I guess it's, like, portal magic, but at the same time, she was like, oh, look, we're, like, existing at the same time, but in a different universe or, like, somewhere else in the universe. And then having her be, having her open a portal to a black hole, like, I don't know. My mind was blown and I just, oh my gosh, you can see how much I loved it. I definitely fell off the wagon with the tabs at the end because I was just like really getting into it and I just wanted to finish it. So yeah, um, I will definitely be adding my annotations when I eventually reread this book, which won't be for a while, but I'm so, so happy. I ended up reading this 4.5 stars. Literally the only thing that's holding me back from the five stars is the whole like Lydia baby's plot line. I really, really despise that. Like, I don't know why it just did not work for me at all. I thought it was so pointless and just like, I, I didn't understand why it's in there. I mean, they got kidnapped at a certain point And so like, maybe it was just, it was really just setting up for that particular scene and that moment. And I just, I don't know. I didn't really, I didn't really understand it. I didn't really like it, but everything else I absolutely loved. So I'm very, very happy that I finished this and that I got to vlog it. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you made it to the end, leave a flame fire emoji. And with that, I will see you guys in another video very soon. Bye.